we have a uh, vision impairment simulator right so i don't know why it's so uh, large on the screen it shouldn't be that way uh, we actually need to fix a few things might as well uh, do it now because the best time there's no better time than now what we're trying to do we trying to have a consistent um, a consistent look uh, for the website but it's proving to be a bit hard to do so save it this one so we have a uh, styling uh, for the whole project i thought uh, yeah we have the logo container headers yeah those are the same now the thing is how do we go about the uh, applications uh, so this is taking uh, stuff from the eg to music converter because i like that styling it meant to apply it throughout the project but that doesn't uh did not quite work uh, so we have to go and adjust the stuff uh, independently uh, so what do we have input raw signal plot yeah we need some uh, more general uh, names for this and for sliders as well but then it's the position of the sliders matter so i don't know maybe we'll still have to do individual styling for each uh, page which would be unfortunate so this one vision sim it's called vision sim yeah we don't even have uh, no we do have styling for it but we are oops and uh, not actually using it not actually using it the problem in this case is that uh, yeah to check how it looks like on mobile and uh, by the way in the browser the simulation is not uh, always accurate so my camera just stopped working yep ah just give me a black uh, screen that's not cool that's not cool well hopefully your camera still uh, works uh, let me know if this tool works for you it should theory but that doesn't mean we shouldn't uh, try and improve it improve improve styling uh, let's run it uh, locally for a sec something else is uh, running it's the cochlear simulator will get the to it in a second a cochlear simulator this is the vision sim yeah the thing is uh okay when we do apply styling we want to apply it just in the inner center canvas yeah we want to uh let's bring it back for a sec but then i don't know if it's uh, better was the camera just stop working as well yeah, there's two uh, webcams that are the same and so having trouble okay now the second one doesn't work as well that's not cool yeah i don't know if it's like the driver the driver of the camera or something something isn't right yeah me trying to fix it uh, won't help that's styling canvas label input yeah it's pretty basic let's uh, get uh, rid of it for a sec yeah so i have this uh, css for the whole project and that should be the only one uh, we are using yeah can I just the uh, parameters to simulate different uh, vision impairments uh, can we change the styling within html we don't have a separate uh, style uh, css file to improve this container main concern is that we want it to uh, not be larger than half the screen can we also make sure it uh, works it displays well on a smaller mobile screen okay so this obviously goes over here okay that doesn't work why yeah, can we make sure it the displays well on a smaller mobile screen it says it's already doing it however a further improvement 
Well, the canvas is still exceeding the screen. Now oh, my camera is working again. The canvas is still exceeding the screen. Do we need to bring the big guns and pop it into GPT-4 or a GitHub Copilot? Uh, shouldn't Theory be able to manage uh, this kind of stuff? Do I have a setup canvas function? Yeah, because I gave it the workspace uh, handle, so it's uh, looked in the entire project. Uh, I think we have it in main.js. And no, do you remember a setup, setup function? The canvas side is set to 90%, yeah, that's fine. Window width is 50% of the window's height. Um, okay, I don't know what it did. Yeah, this is where GitHub Copilot is uh, messing stuff up. It's messing stuff up because it looked, uh, yeah, I need to open the project just uh, by itself yeah, just messing up things let's do a new window it's called vision vision seam vision seam yeah we did it a while ago it's already published you can go and check it out yeah right this one so now uh in theory when you open the project by itself a github copal then should do, should work so this is a flask application uh, it has this main uh, JavaScript, so it's trying to rely on JavaScript. The Flask uh, backend doesn't do much, which is good because we would not be wasting electricity. All this processing will be happening uh, on your in your browser. What we are trying to fix is this uh, styling for this page. Uh, we need to fix the styling for the page. Uh, we would like to rewrite it from scratch. Currently, the main concern is that the video canvas is uh, not fitting the visual part of the screen. The visible, sorry, not visual. Let's see if it understands the context. It should understand what I mean. A canvas video. Okay, I want to do all that within a HTML, within the HTML. Yeah, the problem is that, uh, yeah, we have a CSS uh, for the whole project. That's where the problem is. That some things just uh, interfere with one another. Uh, I didn't get the prompt correctly. Fix the styling for the page. We'd like to write it from scratch. Currently, the main concern is the video canvas uh, does not fit the visible, and we would like to. I uh, would like to change the HTML. Uh, so no additional, uh, no separate um, CSV file. <laughs> it's rewriting. Video <laughs> can what? The border came from. I didn't ask for border. Don't like these borders. Okay, this is better. Maybe. And on the mobile, well, this max width um, can be 100%. Should be okay for mobile. Video is auto play. Yeah, it plays in line. Auto play, display none. Why? Anyway, let's look. Does it look better? Hey, okay, what else we've got? Yeah, the browser uh, still remembers uh, previous uh, styling settings. Yeah, we could get rid of those. We eventually will be putting uh, videos uh, on all the pages. Yeah, we had it major issue was removal yeah i want all the have a consistent uh, uh, styling for the whole page this could be probably made uh, wider because there's a difference between uh, just regular horizontal slider and the scroller scroller should be different should be able to scroll on the page as well on the on the chart as well we had a major problem 
Yeah, this one's working okay. Those are plotly, plotly charts. I might get actually rid of all the plotly functionality because it's too much. Yeah, someone was asking about it. Yeah, probably don't need it because we, you know, if we're controlling everything uh, ourselves, in this case, it's just a simple drop down. Yeah, I need to just make sure it fits the screen. I don't know what's loading forever as well. Doesn't fit, does it? Okay, yeah, we'll be fixing this uh, later today, so stay tuned. Go check the website. Don't forget to turn your ad blocker off. I'll see you in a bit. Bye.